Simon, what impact do you think all this uncertainty is having on the bombers, on the players? Well, look, I think the players have been fantastic throughout the year, but I think if you've looked at the last three games they've played, uh, while they've started each game well, they've just got uh, tired. It's, I think mentally tired is where that, and each game they've just got worse and worse as the game's gone on. And I think when you've got so much speculation, so much uh, coverage of it, and the players have stuck very closely together, I think that's great for them. Mm. But the Indian, in the end, it has to wear you down, and, and football can tire, tire out in the head for a whole season. And to have this as well... The way they've played the last three I think they're mentally tired. I think it's really got to them. Simon, tell me personally how you're feeling about this. Look, you've, you've been named in Essendon's team of the century, Norm Smith medalist. Your links not only in football, but your emotional links to Essendon are incredibly strong. Are you saddened by this whole saga? Look, I'm extremely disappointed that the club has got itself in this position. I think you can only you can only be that. Look, I've said as a football person, and sometimes you've got to be careful. You keep your mouth closed because you say, "Well, I'm just old school." But I've really, and I've said this to a number of people, so I'm on the record of saying this. And I've seen us let, I say, us, the football department, let the sports scientists hijack the game in the last five to six years. We've given them, we're giving them um, authority and and uh, let them do things that probably, if we had a really cool head about it. We, and looking back, hindsight's a beautiful thing. You wouldn't let, let them do that. Sports science is very, very important in sport, but it has to have its place. And I think Essendon has been the first one to say, well, hang on, maybe we've handed over too much uh, authority to them and let them do too much, and we've just sat back. I think for everybody else in sport, whatever, whatever happens uh, out of the outcome of this, everybody else in sport is going to say, hang on, we need to make sure that we are in control of our sport, and that's not just football, yep. that's any sport. The administrators and the people in charge have to say, we really need to be in charge of our sport, our club, our game, and we have to have really good governance over it. And that's the big thing in this issue. If, the, if there's nothing else, the governance of the club has, has come into question, and I think that's where the AFL will be looking. Uh, anything under that, uh, we're still waiting to see, but the governance of the club is coming to question. So you're, you're really saying that the club administration has let supporters down and let the club down, tarnish well, the name by not controlling the sports scientists? Well, if, if you ha all you have to do is look at the chain of command and see who's not there anymore, and all of a sudden you realise that it's come from the top right through to, this, to the football department, the sports science department. So if that's not an indication of not having control of the situation, then I don't know what else is. Right, all right. Luke, um, just quickly, how, how damaging is all of this for the code in general? Oh, it hasn't been a great time at all, Sam and, and Koshi and Simon. I think the game you know, is suffering as a result of it. It's uh, hijacked the season in lots of ways. And you know, I'm concerned that this will go on next year as well. It's an interim report from ASADA. We've got the final series coming up where premiership points may be stripped away from Essendon. So it's not a great chapter in the game. The game's always big enough uh, to survive. But I hope, as Simon said, the upshot out of this is that we change our practices. We make sure that the sports science divisions are kept in check, that we don't have, as the Swakowski report mentioned, a pharmacological experiment on players. It's not something anyone wants to see the young men involved in the elite sport involved in. And I, I think... Hopefully this is, uh, is, is done and dusted and we can move on and have a better chapter. But for me, it's been a tarnished season and the AFL, we're pretty disappointed that it has come down to this. Yeah. All right, Luke, Luke, uh, sorry. Luke, that's a really good point. Sorry to interrupt, but Luke, that's a really good point. To get Lance Armstrong, WADA took two and a half years. And I'd love to think that we could finish this now, but if it is an interim report, this is going to go on longer. Yeah. All right, guys, for now, thank you for your time.